Hi everyone. Today we will be discussing meiosis. Meiosis is a special type of cell division which is involved in making gamete cells. It is the process that allows for genetic variation. Meiosis involves a process called reduction division where each gamete cell will contain only half the number of chromosomes which is haploid and the amount of chromosomes is 23 chromosomes. So, a human sperm cell and an egg each will have 23 chromosomes. And when combined, they'll have 46 chromosomes in the newly formed fertilized egg. This fertilized egg will divide by the process of mitosis and differentiate into different types of human cells. So each fertilized egg will contain a diploid number of chromosomes, which is 46 chromosomes. During interphase, which precedes both mitosis and meiosis, the cell duplicates its DNA and chromosomes and the cell grows. It is an important phase but is not part of meiosis or mitosis. When the cell's 46 chromosomes are duplicated, the cell will have 92 chromatids. However, the cell will still have 46 chromosomes because each pair of chromatids are attached by the centromere. Chromosomes are made of DNA and protein. In mitosis, the cells divide one time, which means that they are doing PMAT one time. Now remember the acronym PMAT, it stands for the following. The P stands for prophase. The M stands for metaphase. The A for anaphase. And finally the T for telophase. In meiosis, however, the cells have to do PMAT twice. So we have PMAT number one and PMAT number two. We can see PMAT number one as the first four circles, and then PMAT number two is the last four circles on the bottom. The first phase in meiosis is prophase number one. During this phase, the chromosomes are condensing. They match up with their homologous pairs and exchange genetic material. This process is called crossing over. Homologous means that the two pairs of chromosomes are roughly the same size and contain the same type of genes in similar locations. Recombination is a process by which pieces of DNA are broken and recombined to produce new combination of alleles. Recombinant chromosomes are caused by crossovers and the exchange of genetic materials occur by the end of prophase 1. As a result, the offspring can have a different combination of genes than their parents. For easy memorization, remember that pro means before. So we can remember that prophase occurs before all the other phases, so it is the first phase. It is also the longest phase in meiosis. The second phase in meiosis is called metaphase 1. During this phase, the chromosomes are in the middle but are still in pairs, so they are not in a single file line like they were in mitosis. For easy memorization, remember that the M in metaphase stands for middle. It is where the chromosomes are lined up in the cell. Then we have the anaphase one. During this phase, the chromosomes are pulled away by the work of the spindles. They are moving to opposite sides of the cell. So each side will only have one half of the 46 chromosomes, which means it is the haploid number. So reduction division occurs in anaphase one. For easy memorization, remember that the A in anaphase stands for away which is where chromosomes are pulled by the spindles away from the cell center to opposite ends. Then we have the telophase 1 and cytokinesis. During this phase, each set of the 23 chromosomes are on the complete opposite ends and new nuclei are forming on each side of the cell to create two new cells. They are starting to surround the chromosomes on both sides as they will eventually form 
two cells. Cytokinesis follows to cause complete cytoplasmic splitting, which is the actual dividing of the cell. For easy memorization, remember that the T in telophase stands for two, which is the formation of the two nuclei. Also remember that the C in cytokinesis stands for complete cytoplasmic splitting. Now meiosis II begins. It starts off with prophase II. During this phase, the chromosomes are condensing, so they're thickening, in both of the two new cells. Next, we have metaphase II. During this phase, chromosomes go to the middle, but this time they're in a single file line. Not like in metaphase I, when they were lined up with the homologous pairs in the middle. We then have anaphase number two. During this phase, the chromatids are pulled away to the opposite ends of the cells by the work of the spindles. Finally, we have telophase two and cytokinesis. During this phase, the chromosomes are at complete opposite ends and new nuclei are forming on each side to make these new cells. Cytokinesis follows to cause complete cytoplasmic splitting, which is the actual dividing of the cell. These new cells are called gametes. By the end of meiosis, we have four non-identical gametes, which will either be sperms or eggs. The males make sperm cells, which each contain 22 chromosomes and an X or a Y sex chromosome. The females make egg cells, which each contain 22 chromosomes plus an X sex chromosome. Gametes are haploid, which means they contain half the number of chromosomes which are, are present in the starting cell, which means they have 23 chromosomes. And when the sperm and egg combine, they produce a fertilized egg called a zygote. The zygote starts to divide by mitosis and differentiates to form different body cells of different organs. The varieties of offspring. Offsprings are not identical to their parents or siblings because of two factors. Number one, the crossing over of genetic material in prophase one, and number two, the independent assortment, which means that different genes with different characteristics are inherited independently from one another. This leads to a wide variety in offspring. Remember, before meiosis begins, we have the interphase. After meiosis ends, we have the cytokinesis. During meiosis, we have eight phases, PMAT1 and PMAT2. Remember the acronym PMAT. The pro in prophase indicates before because it occurs before the other phases, so it is the first phase. The M in metaphase stands for middle, which is where the chromosomes align. The A in anaphase stands for away, which indicates that the chromosomes are being pulled away to opposite sides. And the T in telophase stands for the formation of the two nuclei. Meiosis is a reduction division which means that it results in four gamete cells. Each gamete contains one half of the number of chromosomes, making it haploid. In total, there are 23 chromosomes, 22 autosomes and one sex chromosome, which is an allosome. The crossing over of genetic material occurs by the end of prophase one, which is the longest phase in meiosis. The reduction division occurs during metaphase 1. And finally, the variation of offspring is caused by crossing over and independent assortment. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good day.